quite sure which one we'll do yet. We'll go up to the upper pool and then see what the appetite is to keep going up the hill. Andrew reckons that Edith Falls is one of his most favourite places in the NT. And starting to understand why. This is beautiful. Great walk, this is the top of the Long Pools. Which is halfway to Sweetwater Pool, which is where we're heading today. 8.6 kilometre round trip. We'll see how, uh, how the kids are feeling at the end of it. Got a bit smelly, and then we looked up and looked into the trees. So many bats. Are they bloodsuckers, Mummy? No, I think they're oh. fruit, fruit bats. Boring. Okay. I thought the kids would have they to fight them off for us. How was that walk, Marker? The last bit was really cool. Yeah, why? What was there? Bats. Mm. Lots and lots of bats. Okay, it's good to see them over there in the trees. Now we've got to Sweetwater Pool. So the turnaround point of our hike. We'll find somewhere to sit down, have some food. Maybe go up towards the little cascades at the end there and have a swim. It looks beautiful. Ooh, it's cold. Water's clear. And see cold. some fishies. It's cold. And it's cold, apparently. Violet's almost ready for a swim. Go down. Get in the spa. There you go. A bit fresh. A bit fresh. Don't think it's going to be a bit fresh. <laughs> Special that breeze. Without the breeze, it'd be okay. Oh, no, but even then, it'd be fresh. <laughs> hey, Micah, how's the water? We made it. We made it. It was a long walk. It's pretty hot. It's not as hard as the Kings Canyon walk, but it was hot. But now I'm ready to go for another swim. Yep. We did run out of water, um, which wasn't great, but uh, just in time to get back to camp. So have another drink. Sounds good to me. Sunset at Edith Falls, lower pool. And uh, this is just spectacular. Be cool, but spectacular nonetheless. slowly and see what it's like over there. Swimming back, look who's come out to join me. What do you say? Hello! <laughs> exactly right. How good is this? <laughs> yeah, from Mum and Micah. Yeah. All the way over to here. How cool is this like? Yeah. It's pretty special, isn't it? Moon. Yeah, the moon's up there. And the waterfall. And the golden sunlight from the sunset. Swim back. Bye bye. So what's your favourite part of this gourd? What's what favourite part of Edith Falls, Lala? Mm -hmm. Golden light. Sorry, the golden light. It's starting to get that way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And how did you find the walk today? Bad. I'm sorry? Give me some more than one word answers. Tired. Tired? But did you enjoy it? Yes. Yeah? Definitely not using a pool noodle. Definitely not using a pool noodle. <laughs> With your hair not wet at all. <laughs> this is the 
This is the Edith Falls top pool. Violet, you got something to say? Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna swim around the corner to the falls. And with a little bit of effort, we've all made it. The waterfall. There's a bit of a current there. That coming down. Whew. That was a bit of a swim. How's this, Monica? It's pretty good. It's cold. Yeah. But I made it. Yeah. How about you, Violet? Is this good? Tell me about this place. The falls wasn't even on our original itinerary. I don't know why, because it's bloody amazing. And for my late afternoon swim, I have a special guest. <laughs> a guest appearance. Stuck by popular demand. <laughs> Ronnie. Ronnie. <laughs> Miss Shiver herself. Well, good morning. We're still at either falls, packing up today. We're heading off into Kakadu. We've got a one night stay at a campground in there before we head into Jabiru because the we couldn't get a booking for tonight in where we wanted to stay. So we'll stay at a uh, small national parks campground tonight. Uh, means we get to go to motor car falls something like that tomorrow have a swim and then we can head off to Jabiru but this has been a fantastic couple of days at either falls another one of these highly recommended places as they all are up here in the northern territory anyway we'll uh, continue packing up you can probably hear the noises in the background and um, we'll see you soon Hello, my friends is either falls Millock National Park. We'll be back here in about a week or so because we're going to come back down to the other end, down to Catherine Gorge. After we go up to Cactu and Darwin and Litchfield, then we'll be back. We stopped in Pine Creek just to get uh, some internet access and uh, have a brief break. We've just gone past the Mary River Roadhouse and Entrance to Kakadu. Kakadu! And of course, because there's a sign, we need to take a photo. Sign photo. Sign photo time. First night in Kakadu at Cambogi Campground down the uh, Gunlam Falls Road. Unfortunately, Gunlam is closed, as is Jim Jim. And two. Uh, I don't know, whatever the other one is. But I'm sure we'll find a walk tomorrow that's open that we can go for a walk before we head up to Jabiru. Got the solar out, steal that energy from the sun. Haven't put up the annex today because we're only here for the one night. And we better put those eggs away before they cook in the sunshine. So we just saw a flock of red-tailed black cockatoos, which was pretty amazing. And I was trying to get the GoPro out, but then another car came the other way and we stopped to talk to them about whether it's safe to go swimming in the swimming hole we're heading to um, and checking out whether there are any crocs there. So that was kind of important. But yeah, they were beautiful birds, huge and um, quite a decent number of them. We're at your Mick Mick. Please, I apologize to anybody that actually knows how to pronounce this stuff. Um, we're going to go up to Boulder Creek, two kilometres return, 45 minutes, nice and easy. Got the sun going down, it's still very hot. Hopefully we can put our feet in up the top somewhere. See you soon. The Queen Rock Wallaby is leading the way. 
You all right, Ronnie? Yeah. There's a little bit of an adventure to get into the pool here. Hey, what about, what about me? I think you're not Did you hear that? She said I was ugly. And with a little bit of rock hopping, this is where you end up. Thanks for leading the way, Mum. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back down, but it's definitely got up here. <laughs> Infinity pool here. This is Keep saying this. It's pretty cool. We have sunset in Kakadu. Moon up in the sky. Golden light. Down there is Cambogi Creek. There's big signs about snapping handbags, so we won't be going down there. Yeah. We have suddenly reached uh, the north of Australia. It's hot. It's only it's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's there's humidity, although I'm sure the people up here will say it's dry as. Um, but we just left Cambogi, I think. A Cambogi uh, campsite, which was a fantastic little find. Um, wasn't planning on staying here, it was something we just found because we needed to uh, have somewhere before we go to where we have a booking. I had a one night stay and um, it was cool. And we found that little uh, hike that we did yesterday afternoon up to the Boulder Creek uh, waterfall and that was really cool as well. So, that, yeah, Kakadu, full of these hidden little gems. Don't just stay at Jabiru and um, which is where we're going next. <laughs> but come out and see some of these other little campsite stuff because um, that was awesome. Yeah. Not much to the actual campground, but um, the boulder loop walk and the waterfall up there is definitely worth the stay. Um, why not to do it? This is Buck Buck Luck Lookout. Looking out over the southern part of Kakadu. And, uh, it's pretty special. It is pretty spectacular. And we're using the phone because the GoPro, somebody didn't change the battery. I don't know who that would be. It's not me. It's not my <laughs> job. <laughs> That's amazing. So much bushland. Makes you feel pretty small. Information sign back at the start of the walk said to look out for tree creepers and endemic parrots with no pictures of what a tree creeper is. Um, and I've never seen one before, so I'm not quite sure what we're supposed to keep a lookout for. But if snake? we spot one, it is could it be a, a snake, it could be a plant, I don't know, I don't know. Um, maybe people on the interwebs are smarter than we are and know what a tree creeper is. And here we have a feral donkey, probably not great for the environment, but we could hear you last night, mate, making all that racket. Anyway, you're pretty cute. Hee -oh. Wonky donkey. Bye bye. This is the East Alligator River. Quite dry at the moment. Somebody sent me first, because apparently I'm disposable. No. Whereas the kid's not. The guy at Alice Springs said that they want to eat the kids, but they'll just kill you. So, <laughs> you know, they're less easy. You're less easy pickings. Just in case. But there's no there's no, no it's violet. The dude said I they wouldn't go here. No crocodiles here. Uh, through the trees, there is water. So they could be snapping handbags down here somewhere. I don't think we're gonna go looking for them today. Might go on a cruise where we can see them from the safety of a boat. We're in Kakadu at Kuinda Resort at the present time. 
Um, lucky for us, the resort allows non-guests to use their pool. So we're taking advantage of that while we wait for our Yellow Waters cruise to start in about oh, half an hour or so. So, spent a lazy morning, went down to the local market, Violet's her toe so she doesn't want to walk very far, which is um, a bit of a pain, but we'll give it a day or two for that to recover. Um, yeah, and it's warm up here. Really, really, really hot, actually. <laughs> so the, uh, the cool of, the, um, of Alice Springs and uh, down south is a distant memory. Now we're <laughs> in the heat, sweating and trying to work out you know, how we, uh, you know, how we deal with the heat. Make sure the kids drink water is the first thing. Anyway, uh, off to the cruise. That's next on the agenda. after our Yellow Waters cruise and it was pretty special. That was a, an awesome sunset. We had the almost full moon, tomorrow's the full moon, just rising on the other side of the boat. What did you think, mate? It was really cool. There was lots of crocs. That was amazing to see them out in the wild. You don't get that back in Point Claire. <laughs> Hopefully oh, not. <laughs> Hopefully not, yes. And what did you think of the cruise, Lars? Um, I thought the moon was pretty because we saw uh, the sky around the moon was, um, it had purple and then pink, like, strokes. Um, yeah, I loved it. It was amazing. I loved seeing the crocs. And there was one that just snapped right in front of the boat and I missed it in true runny form because I was too busy enjoying the moment, which is totally fine. We saw, um, what was that, white um, belly sea eagle? Yep. Um, nesting, which was pretty spectacular. Um, yeah, it was really, really cool. Highly recommend the Yellow River cruise. Yep. But, yeah. Cool. Uh, sunset. Sunset, yeah. It's backburning season in Kakadu. So we're just driving back along the road towards Jabiru. And just on the side of the road, the flames and the full moon. And that's just clearing the undergrowth. This afternoon we are at Ubia Rock. There's some special memories here. We actually came here with my brother. And when Micah and Violet, Violet was a bub. Micah was, I don't know, not much more than a bub, maybe two. And so some really good memories coming here and watching the sunset. We're going to do that again this afternoon.
Apparently injuries come in threes. So Violet's damaged a little toe. Rani sprained an ankle on uh, coming down Ubi after sunset. And then I accidentally flicked her in the eye with the strap of the camper. So hopefully that's it. Hopefully we're done. Uh, she's well, I pushed little... her ankle up on the rock, so it has to come in fours. Okay. Oh, you look fine. Yeah, Rani's a little bit sore and sorry for herself yeah. today, but we're going to go for a couple of a couple of walks around Nuralangi. I'm not sure how to pronounce that correctly. Again, with all of my pronunciations, but we're going to have a look, go for a walk, see how the ankle goes. And um, we've gotten up ankle. nice and early. It's the 8 a.m. this morning. Get out and do a walk before the sun gets up. <laughs> So we're just going to chill here with the crocodiles while Guy goes and gets the car and just enjoy the view. No crocodiles so far. No buffalo either, which is lucky. <laughs> we'll just enjoy the birdies. Usually it's only um, four people doing the walks. But today it's by me cat volunteered to hop in the bag and go for a ride. How's it been, me cat? We've lost two: Rani's ankle and Violet's toe. But Marco and I are going to go up to the lookout and see what we can see. Is that right, mate? We spotted a croc cruising right next to where the crossing was. We're not going to drive across it. Um, but it's really pretty. We were watching some people fish. Um, a guy nearly slipped on the rocks, which made me feel a bit sick. Because I thought I was going to fall in and be croc food. So we just headed off. We left after that. But um, yeah, it smells beautiful. It's really sweet. Uh, there's like all this um, wattle in bloom and it's not giving me hay fever like the wattle in Sydney does. Um, but yeah, it's somewhere between like a wattle and a jasmine smell and it's just beautiful near the water. So come down and check it out. It's not all happy times and swimming in beautiful water. Sometimes things get broken. So this cranky thing has gotten broken, which means if we can't crank this, this won't come up so it can get hooked onto the car so we can move to Darwin. Yeah. So what's Daddy doing now? Unpacking the car so we can get the thing to fix this. So we've got to get a jack to then jack it up because the, the wheel crank on the camper is broken. We thought we'd get one more go out of it, but no. Oh well, not all fun times. But Ned Kelly MacGyver jacking up the trailer so we can get back onto the car. This is a tough challenge for Ned Kelly MacGyver, Guy. Uh, it looks like the um, jack isn't high enough to get the camper up enough to get it hitched to the back of the car. So yeah, problem solving. So I've reversed the car over. And yes, I am doing this in swimmers because it's bloody hot. I'm going to jump in the pool once we're done. Um, oh no, we're full in full MacGyver mode now. Okay. Desperate times. Yeah, 
Yeah, that'll do. Just saying goodbye to Kakadu. See you later, Kakadu. Bye, Kakadu. It's definitely Kakadu, not Kakadu. Yeah, definitely Kakadu. And what was your favourite part, Vi? Um, the walks were great. Yeah. Sunset, full moon. At Ubir. Yeah, and Micah, what was your favourite bit? Um, I liked all of it. Any highlights? Um, I know it's all about the food. The pizza was delicious. Pizza, yeah. The pool, the um, so Boulder Creek, that was really cool. Um, yeah. Sunset. And Daddy. Oh, the sunset cruise and the sunset at Ubir. But you know, the day we had down at the. Um, Oh, I kind of remember the, the other little campsite and we went to that rock pool up in the Boulder up in the hills, Creek. Boulder Creek. That was, was yeah. I reckon that was really good. Yeah, that was a pretty special place, Boulder Creek Loop, definitely. Um, I really love the Yellow River Sunset Cruise. It's a highlight. I definitely recommend that you do that if you come out this way. We saw big crocs snapping and eating something. Um, the white just to see it. I don't even know if the Sea That's eagles. what sea eagles, yeah, sea eagles, white something, white something, sea eagles. Um, nesting. White crested sea eagles. White chested. Yeah, white chested. chested. White crested. Chested. Could be either. Um, yeah, lots and lots of whistling ducks and other types of things. Our um, tour guide, Adam, was really knowledgeable, a local Aboriginal man, and taught us lots about the local habitat. And we saw the use of fire for clearing um, the undergrowth and management of the ecosystem. It's really cool. So, yeah, definitely come out here. It's been a great time. Oh, I missed it. There was a roo on the road. There's back burning ahead. Oh, there's, yeah, there's back burning over there, which is probably getting them on the move. We'll have to keep an eye out. Clarify, it was a live roo popping across the road, not the other kinds of roos. <laughs> and the Kakadu area is not quite finished with us yet. Got the spectacular jumping crocodile cruise. I reckon we're going to see a crocodile that big. Maybe not. Got a new jockey wheel. The guy is MacGyver netting it onto the camper, but we're missing a bit. What do you need? MacGyver it. Okay. What are we waiting for, Val? Crocodile. What are we going to do with the crocodile? Love it. And love it and hug it and kiss it. No? Which bit aren't you going to do? All of that? Just You're just going to hold it. That's pretty boring. You're not going to give it a kiss again. No? Cut. Sorry? It's your mummy if you don't want to hold it, okay? So you want to give it a go? I think give it a go. Yeah, he's, he's got tape on his mouth, so... Wow. Beautiful. I just realised one I just saw it. It does like this. It does like this. Put it on to, like, diagonal. Hello. 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 Oh, you're being cheeky. You're going to throw your bowl. <laughs> ah. Oh, mate. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Ah. Brack. This guy spotted Violet walking past and came up from the murky depths. 
walk with a limp, Violet. To check her out. We're down at Mindle Markets watching the sunset and a little hermit crab move its home. Today we've spent getting uh, haircuts, Violet. I got my oh, haircuts and then braided. Awesome. Daddy got a beard cut. I got a beard, a beard and a haircut. So I'm looking at a lot neater than I was no, no, last week. But Michael wants to shave back of his head. And oh, 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 oh. <laughs> mum's running away, <laughs> interfering with the wildlife. <laughs> and watching the sun go down. I picked it up, but it didn't work.